but I finally have my hands on it. And I couldn't be more excited right now. too busy or important to be kind to others. Dad tip number 92. So yes, dream daddy. Always bring a war chest. Dream daddy. I'm going to cringe so many times from saying that. Oh, and not to mention, we may or may not have voices to do. So, yeah, let's forget about them five minutes in and just keep making new voices for the same people. We've got some snoring going on here. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna actually snore because that would just be super loud for the microphone. And more more snoring. Dad more snoring. Dad, wake up! Uh, I've, I've seen literally everyone so far do that. I'm gonna go five more minutes. You said that five minutes ago! And also ten minutes ago! <sighs> I finally opened my eyes and sat up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Bender. Aww. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Eat a balanced meal every day that includes vegetables, fruit, and proteins. Whoops. Try to not make assumptions about people. Give you good advice. Build that dad. Oh, here we go. Choice is six. Classic tank. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's totally me. Uh, that's a bit more like the morning, actually. Oh, I do quite like that. That could be a good show. Look at that. Apologize if, if, if you said that a little while ago, but hello to Markachan, I'm gonna say. Markachan. Uh, from Finland. Oh, is it? Is it really? Uh, let me see what I can do about that. I do feel like the game is quite loud in my ears, but I couldn't find a volume option. I might have a look in the actual game in a minute. Also, just seen the chat on the computer. For some reason, your name is two different colors. I'm wondering if that's made any difference. I'm not too sure. Let me know. Uh, I'm gonna go to straight brows. Uh, what do I wanna go with? Make it the right color for a start. Creepy Sash, no. Let's just go with none. Uh, nope. No glasses, no piercings, don't plan on it. Either. Totally, all done. Oh! I haven't seen it yet. For reasons. But I am aware of that. Don't, like, properly spoil me, but how was it? Well, let me rephrase that question. How much better was it than what you're watching now? Um, I quite like the suit, to be honest. So, uh, looking good, Daddy. I'm gonna go with what I did on the Sims playthrough that's been messed up. And we're gonna be that dad. And have
have a guy talk over me and say the same thing as me. You always have time for a beer with your friends. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed, except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm. What's in it? Looking in the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Right. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I'll pull out one of the dusty albums on the top of the bar and we'll begin looking through it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Well, I mean, the theory is if he's about to go on dates with potential dream daddies, <clears throat> theoretically. He would have been with another man at the time. But to break the trend that I've noticed because of that theory, I'm gonna say this. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we try to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, the dragon costume. It's kind of like an attempt at an American girl, I guess. Is that a bad one at that? Uh, you couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon. So you wonder both. Princess dragon. Mm -hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Ah. Dad. I believe you named that plush your Yeah. I believe you named that plush your Sir Horsington the Brave. Mm. I don't think that, that was his Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Yep, that's totally what I have. <laughs> nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your scar band. Oh. Ouch, kid. Ah. The scumminess manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance. Reminisce about that rad porn section. Yeah, close enough, whatever. Hey, it's it's Emma P. Ugh. No, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. Let's go with that one, because that's what I would do. Dad. Oh. No, that was Emma S. <sighs> she moved to Kentucky three years ago. Miss her. Yeah. I also miss my hamster. <laughs> I like that. Sir Hammington the Brave. Anyway, I gotta show this to Rama R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. <laughs> yeah, and I got out the $20 gift card to McFridays. McFridays with a Z, yo. Get it, because I'm English. Okay. We don't really say it. Cool, like, like you Americans. <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from cheesy to start a blast. Jesus, do you want any more Zeds? 
I think you mean I think you mean <clears throat> I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Wink. Ugh. Dad. Still can't drive past the Fridays without gagging. <clears throat> so proud of you though. Man that reaches day deep down. <clears throat> In the box, it pulls out one last photo. Aww. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Oh. I finally decide to break the silence. It's kind of a funny story. I got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. Stop. How is that funny? Okay, carry on. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out. And little old lady across the was freaking out as well. And I didn't know what to do. I've lost the voice, goddammit. But your mother. Oh, man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. I can't miss I've seen her. She's, I've ever seen her. She says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh. She was right, you know? I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Oh. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The movie man will be forever. Pardon me. You're right. Ah. Commander and I pass into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. I can't believe that your mother and I brought this place almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember when I shot at the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Ah. Hey, remember when I shot at the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You're a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window plate? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> and there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. That was not English, Jesus. Memories to break, and stuff to break. I just said the same thing twice. <laughs> Memories to make, and stuff to break. Okay. <laughs> I said it better. I said it. Come on, brain. I said it right this time. You ready? We sit in silence for moments. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It'll forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So. So what? Aww. So sell me on our cool new pad. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep on for a week. You sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my thoughts, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozy, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. One would be closer to a lot of cool stuff we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn to parallel park at some point, right? Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to a three point turn their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm. So you want to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You're the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. <sighs> Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <sighs> I'm just going to ignore that. Mm. But I won't forget it. So I don't, so what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first I need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install a washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Hmm. Pops, call your jets. You have to promise me we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown. For sale sign is still in the yard. Uh, 
So, guess. Hiya! <clears throat> Remember Swift Kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice phone, Sweet Pea. I got a problem with my thotty! I'm so proud. Man, what a karate chop from tucking me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Did you even see all the dogs in the nearby park? You know it. Thank you for moving a scenario where the dog to person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency which I interrupt conversation stay with DOG! So you rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot of it. Hey, it's a dog! Oh. Wait, false alarm. It's just a funny shape for rock. If you want to see real dogs, sit back. Let's get to our park around the corner. Stand up for yourself. Don't let anyone disrespect you. Dad tip. Number four! Andrew and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids playing in the street, the flowers don't bloom, and the fate's none of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Huh? Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroll over there? Government operative. Mm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes run through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! <laughs> I'm good at doing it so far. <laughs> uh... I'm not too sure about that, to be honest. Who knows, maybe if this thing doesn't work out, I may have a second job, third job. Anyway. Ow! Jesus. I'll just paraphrase, shall I? A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Clonk. Woof! A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief. Around its neck, bounds up to me. Wagging its tail. I don't know what I'm doing. Did you throw this thing at my head? Buck. Buck, buck, buck. Buck, buck. Buck, buck. Buck. He runs around in a circle and nudges my luck of his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Ruff. Ruff. Ruff, ruff. I'll just have the voice break, shall I? <laughs> so I don't know why. Just notice this now. It's held the auto mode is held one of your messages when there's no problem for it. Let me allow that. All it just says is on this game. There was nothing wrong with it. I do apologize, I didn't see that quick enough. Might help if I didn't have the uh, game on full screen, but oh well. Uh, do you have to memorize lottery numbers? Buck! 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 Lesnar? Or Laser, I guess. Got it. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes a frisbee from me. Right, work out an accent, work out an accent, work out an accent. You know, frisbees are technically caught with your hands, not your face. <laughs> well, you know, traditionally I'm supposed to aim for people's heads. But I'm fine. Thanks. Ha! <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Callum, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, who finds her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Ah. Uh. Hi. Ah. Uh. 
Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell, sure. <laughs> ah, hi. Old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? <clears throat> Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Ah. This is Daisy. She's reading a... I'm like, switch, I'm like trying... I don't know why. I can't speak now. I'm just switching between Scottish and terrible Irish. And I don't know what to stick with, to be honest. This is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Car Carlos. She's a, she, Jesus, come on, brain. Come on, come on, come on. It's just one sentence. With a lot of syllables. And a terrible accent. She's reading the the Brothers... And just don't care, come on. She's reading the, bro the Brothers Karazimov. Kar I can't do it. <laughs> the I'm just gonna read this bit in a normal accent because I really can't. The brothers Karamazov. Okay. A teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler, of a Highlander. How old is she? Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instinct kicks in. To turn us out, get that Pokemon music in. Yeah, there's no options, it looks like, so I don't know how I'm supposed to like turn it up or down or whatever. Oh no, it's happening. Go on, Daisy, tell her about yourself. Um, I. That's my girl. That's me, lassie. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, con well, congratulations. Wow. Wow. Anyway, Ryan loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. I did too, like eight years ago. You lose 15 HP. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go with the... Can we back out? Doesn't look like it. Let's go with the spelling bee photo. Fumbling through your friend's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Well, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for any spelling bee right now. Hopefully, this will be her third win in a row. Yikes, you lose 5 HP. Damn it. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at our elementary school computer lab. I don't know what this accent is anymore. I've just completely lost it. She's a president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Let's go with the child up. You won't fill your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing. Why am I doing? Got it. Got it. Okay. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia a man did in the first grade. Cute. Cute. It wasn't it isn't very impressive, but a man generally appreciates you holding on to it. Hell yeah. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? A man could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 28 HP. 
Did I mention Daisy said a first word at 10 months? Got it. Man is a fussy. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Okay, we're even. Uh, a man is in all honor classes. Oh, yeah. A man is in all honors classes this semester. Ryan is in Sunday's big. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to these teachers about having a skipper grade. Even a man can to that one. It was 20 each week. A few months back, a man started volunteering at the homeless show. I'm doing the wrong accent. A few months back, a man started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. Around us is an HP. You don't say. She should talk to Daisy. She actually helped out on his... You don't say. She, she should talk to Daisy. She actually helped organize a food bank here in Maple Bay. Yeah, Amanda, I'm sure we can find something for you to do. Oh, no. Dang, you should have got a speak. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you too. Ah, uh, did, did he have to add insult to Angie by, sing, by being such a gracious winner? So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? You just moved in. Do you live around here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, aye, even. Aye, we live in that quarter sack da down next to the coffee shop. <laughs> what a coincidence, that's where we live too. Small world. Aye, Daisy and I are in a little ranch style house in the corner. I can never put an accent on the I really don't. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. This, does this guy have to outdo me at everything? A lovely place. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up any minute of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Ryan and Daisy walk further into the park of Maxwell, happily trotting along in Terry. <sighs> Do you get the feeling of trying to one-up us? Mm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have mentioned comparative horse studies. It's not too late to mine and horse grade riding. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never again speak the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Bayonets. <laughs> Great name. We laugh off the epic. Yeah, we laugh off the horse epic and talk and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Uh, let's go to the coffee shop. I gotta get my hands on a nice cup of the old bean juice. Bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. What well, he said, Brian said that there was a coffee shop next to the cul-de-sac where you live. I know you probably can't understand him because he keeps switching between like seven different accents, but still, let's do it. <laughs> we walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place in the corner. Man, this is in such walking. Yeah, in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Aww. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch, not to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird about it. Because technically. Technically, he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Huh? Dad. Now what's with the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Did you get set up on the counter because you didn't want us to put it? you leave it there and feel your face flash hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just outside and now you're that jug that jug <laughs> that jug who left their mug yeah well done brain and now you're that jug who left their mug <sighs> dad are you just afraid to meet new people yes amanda we walk inside hey. the 
inside of a coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls. Yeah. It's three. Great. And a patient's lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. I'm not going to do a racist accent. Welcome to the coffee shop, guys. How's it going? I really don't know what voice to do for him, so I'll just do like a really deep one. What's the name? Hey. Oh, it's uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey, yeah. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because like the business is still running. Hmm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more comfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're, we're in it now, and I can't stop. <clears throat> so, what'll it be? Huh? I scan a chocolate menu, and I'm immediately overwhelmed, even. I'll have a... God speed you black coffee. A classic. I don't get it. Oh, it, it's a pun. Yeah, but I could. I just thought that would be a bit of a bad idea to do. Because I don't know how sensitive people are going to be when I watch this. Uh, when they watch this. If they watch this, I should say. Can't really do a Jamaican accent anyway. Hold on. Let, let me let me mute the mic a minute and I'll practice. Not entirely sure who Milo Yonopoulos is, but alright. I'll see what I can do. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. It, it's a pun. This is terrible. <laughs> Godspeed. Nope. I was like, terrible Italian. Mon, mon, mon. Oh, it's a pun. It, it's a pun. I really can't. I think I, I think I was just sick to the voice I was singing in the first place. <laughs> oh, it's a pun. God speed you, Black Emperor. Has a really amazing and influential, influential. Influential progressive rock band known for us for their sweeping soundscapes and hey. I'm doing the thing again. Oh. We're coming right up. Hmm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato of the market, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in a small, medium, or biggie smalls? I, I don't feel like the nerdy voice is particularly perfect like fitting for him. Because I feel like the nerdy voice is that kind of, it's for like the stereotypical, not, not to sound weird, but like white, um, like freckly and slobbery and like, you know, the whole 
tape across the bridge of the glasses. You know, the, the stereotypical nerd. And I just, like, I get the whole awkwardness around him, but he just seems a bit too cool for that stereotype. Uh, medium. Huh. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Dude. Uh. I should change that, shouldn't I? I should change that, shouldn't I? Yo! What, what? <laughs> no. Brat, <laughs> brat! Jesus, what am I doing? Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey! Scar was cool once. Yeah. M madness. Come on. They're great. Salah. In my opinion. This couch looks pretty comfy. Maybe not comfy than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar spot. You sink right into it. Uh, okay. It's comfy than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and this guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Pardon me, by the way. Uh, uh I don't know. Come on, what do we say? What did we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. That is me in a nutshell right there. <laughs> Perfect. See, we're making progress. That says I drink down at our table and I immediately burn, burn the roof of my blun? Come on, brain! I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Callum. Hey, yeah. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Yeah. Wag, what? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, go on, my cheese. Oh. oh. You want to come by with my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Get along. I, I, have, I have a problem with saying my ass as well. I, I just always pronounce it as W. I think here in the UK we call it the, uh, the Jonathan Ross effect, or because of it, the Jonathan Wass effect. And if you don't know, Jonathan Ross is like a really big um, late night talk show host. I, I wouldn't say he's the Jimmy Fallon of England. That that would be more Graham Norton, but I'd say. Oh, uh, who's the other one? I'd say maybe this, the what's his name, Seth Myers? Is that it? Seth Myers. That's it. Seth Myers. So now I don't know if you know. Uh, I mean, I know that Helsinki is the capital. If I'm honest, that's all I know. I'm, I'm quite a sheltered person, really. Ah, right. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, there's a lot of people that really, you know, do that to, you know, jokingly be racist, I guess. Because I feel like there's this, this, um, well, I know it's in Europe. 
And then, and then I, we got like the northern countries of, we've got Denmark on like further to the west, I think. And then I think it's Norway in the middle and then Sweden on the right. And I, I wanna say Finland's either south of those or to the east before Russia. I may be wrong. I'm gonna say if if south uh, what's what's kind of like in the middle but kind of north around that area. I'm gonna say if I'm right with south then between Sweden and Germany, I think, if I can get my European geography correct, or if it's, or if I'm right with the east, I'd say between Sweden and Russia. Although Russia might be too far east, I'm not sure. I'm really bad with my European geography. Worse than I thought I was. It's just kind of like, I, I know where England is, obviously, because that's where I live. Well, like, Great Britain. And then I know you've got Portugal, and then Spain, like, right on the, look, right next to it, on the east. And that goes up to France. You've got Germany next to France, I believe. You've got Italy right down the south of um, Europe, just above, I should know, Italy kind of curves around Africa a bit, doesn't it? So I just kind of put Denmark in the wrong place, and then I was kind of right. I just put Denmark in the wrong place, which then put everything else one to the right. flag is white blue is it red as well I want to say it's red oh, wait. oh no that's, that's Iceland I'm thinking of isn't it Finland is just white and blue, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. I might have kicked my leg from under the table. Where's well, not. Just slap my desk, I guess. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me give you a guess. Let me get you guys' opinion on something. You. Yeah. I don't know what accent I'm giving them. It's kind of like I've got mine nailed down and I've got Amanda's nailed down, kind of. But with with Brian, I was kind of switching between like Scottish, Irish, and Welsh. And now with Matt, I've just got no idea. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first, so we can, uh, 
get the full flavor profile of, uh, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of, uh, Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we, we need to get that nana bread a taste if you want us doing three grit, three, free creative labor. I think that'd be a, com a commensurate with, uh, uh, conspiracy theory, really? I mean, I know Finland, Finland? There you go, I just gave you an extra D in your name. Wait. Don't sound, don't sound flip that. Soundbite, whatever it's called. Right, I know Finland's an actual place, I just don't know that much about it, but I can't see how people would really think that about it. I thought, oh well, we have drained for this day. I was just gonna keep you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Man serves each piece. A man and I have to chat him. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks, my G. The secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Patrick's stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Dead Kennedys. Grateful Dead, I think it was. And Right Said Fred. I quite like Right Said. I quite like that one song of ours, so. Like Right Said Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah, Right Said Banana Bread. Strong decisions. That's odd, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. Maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks. Baby. Hey. See? Sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. Ooh. Ooh. Big ear. Oh, what am I doing? Jesus. He sits by himself, rooting over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet. Just for a moment, but it feels like hours pass by. What am I doing? Mm. I hasten to look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? Finish off our drinks <sighs> and head out. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, never we're full of caffeine. Where to? I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the concert fair? Did she smell bad? No one's too polite to tell you? Probably. Wait, do I smell bad? Amanda gives me a whiff. We're fine, boss. Let's go home. Just gave her my voice, but oh well. You're fine, pops. Let's go home. Gas is cheaper in the suburbs. Oh, and also pet every dog. Sexual fun. Hmm. Let's maybe build up a few more subscribers first on my channel. <laughs> I get to work, I'm packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The wash and dry unit is worth washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Ding dong. First visitor, we're ready. Oh no, I need another voice. 
Ah, no. What would somebody sound like if they're from Yorkshire? That was terrible. What if they were a Scouser? Is that a Scouser's voice? I don't know. Rain. Hmm. To be sure, to be sure, to be sure. Uh, oh. Uh. Hello. <laughs> a handsome clean cut man standing at my door, managing a plate of cookies. Hello. Yes. Oh. Hello. Hello, Jon Snow. Where are my manners? I'm going with this. Screw it. My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Calm. That's what my name is. I saw a moving van. I saw a ring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wants me to let you know she baked them herself. Just leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Wink. We both shall laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands us a plate of cookies with a smile. Uh, well, thanks for the cookies. Bye now. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, that has to be something wrong with you to raise more than two. <laughs> I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh, I, I, I meant. <laughs> don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Really? Oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She, she died. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. I'm standing quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we've both made things. Mm. I'm sorry, can you... Close the door real quick. I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cold a second. I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. Great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. Wink. We shake hands. Just shook my own hands together. I'm shook oh. right now. Well, neighbor. I did the whole neighborino. Nope. I can't. I can't do a Ned voice. I did the whole neighborino. Nope. Ignore it. Ignore me. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> anyway. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid in your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff. Pardon me. I'm the youth minister of the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, wink, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, thumbs on her face, a cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. Yeah. See? You're already fitting in great. Let those cookies go. Aww. Gone. Sorry. 
If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Stay away to all of them anyway. Yeah, I guess that makes it break down. Any ideas? I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if. I think we'd get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. Yeah. We're gonna kick all the other neighbor butts. Booty. With kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Oh. Shoot. I'm actually not sure which house this is. Mm. I has to guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. <laughs> and remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it ta uh, I mean light. We walk up to the kids and wave! It's getting wavy up in here. Hey guys, is your dad around? They were just there, that's no good. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Jason's kids. They really Ooh, look exactly like him. Whoa. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Uh, I chuckle nervously. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, okay. We're just gonna set this plate down the ground real gentle. And then back away. Slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kid's eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze in my back as soon as we approach the house. Huh. I need someone to get up. Yeah. I need someone to get my mind after those golden coffee kids. I need to rest my mm. eyes. You've been awake for, what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. I like working lab assistant from NCIS just reminds me of you. <laughs> what a tip. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Callum! Bro! Bro! Yeah! Yeah! Bro! Hey. I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Mm -hmm. Bro! Bro! Oh. Holy... Wow! Wow! I'm Owen Wilson! <laughs> wow! I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Oh no, I've missed the opportunity to do a Hulk Hogan voice now. Been too long, dude. Yeah, I'm Hulk Hogan. That was quite macho, man, actually. Yeah, wow, you, you look great. Can I do the Hogan voice? I can do the macho voice. I think the macho voice might be better. Uh, yeah, yeah. I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to high school. Yeah, we went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude. You probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to regret doing this voice. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Dig it! The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. It's kind of like a mixture of Randy Savage and Triple H. 
He picks up the tiny whist. 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 It's a whist, guys. It's a whist. Wrist. <clears throat> and waves it around. The river gurgles halfway. Are you babysitting? No. Oh. <laughs> what? No, nah, dude. I lost it. Ooh, yeah. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Dig it! Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute. We're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. uh, I've lost it. I was. I turned into a pirate. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. Yeah. No kidding, your man and I just moved to the side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh, I, 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 mm, mm, I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She actually still goes by Smashley, yeah. And, uh, we, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Mm -hmm. Ain't life something, bro. Why, why have I given him a 97th voice anyway? What you gonna do, brother? Ain't life something, bro. Right? I'm gonna, like, try and do a Hulk Hogan for now. Kick Sam Craig is a father. Of three. Mm -hmm. Kick Sam Craig? Mm -hmm. I'm losing my voice now. Now that I've done that, now that I've tried doing the uh, Randy Savage impression. <sighs> it's only five past nine. Jesus. Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was my old college nickname, dude. You got it, because it did a lot of keg sounds. Oh. It's a thing where... It's a thing, brother, where you do a headstand on a keg and then drink from the keg, dude. Oh. What you gonna do, brother? When the largest stands in the business... And the largest kegs in the business run wild on you. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, bro. Ah, brother, brother, brother. I had to be that guy. But I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really got to keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, brother, resistance training. Dude. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up for 30 minutes and just walk out. Oh. Well, dude. It's never too late to get back into it. Dude. I didn't see that <laughs> the first time I said it. You should join me sometime, brother. <laughs> I, I don't hey. know. Come on, dude. It'll be fun. We can grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days, brother. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great. Great, dude. Let's 
get that going soon. Better get going. Good to see you guys. It's kind of a bit white there because it's saying on the YouTube that I've got no connection, but I checked on on computer. Ah, there we go. Uh, right, back to the game. Great dude, let's get that going soon. I better get going. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, dudes. I'm gonna imagine that this is gonna start playing in the background as he leaves. Quick before, before I get copyrighted. <laughs> Just have 10 seconds of uh, Hulk Hogan's theme, shall we? Greg gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, starts listening to Real American or Hulk Hogan's theme, whatever you want to call it. Not sure if you can tell or not, but uh, I'm a bit of a wrestling fan. In case you can tell when I failed Macho Man, Triple H, and Hulk Hogan impressions, as well as playing Hulk Hogan's theme song from back in the day. I can't believe Craig is ripped and had to... I can't believe... I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm really... Aww. Why is that? The Craig I knew was not fit to be responsible for any living thing. Uh, how long on a stream this? God, how long have I been going now? I suppose it'll tell me on. Oh, no. Apparently, I've been going for about 18 minutes according to Steam. Uh. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna call you Mark, because I don't wanna. I don't want to try and butcher the pronunciation again, but this this Friday stream is just more I'll go for however long I want to, really, and then just see what happens. I mean, there's been one or two Friday streams where I I've gone from like I think it was like half eight until like two in the morning I think I was playing like yeah I'm a yeah it was a WWE 2k17 career mode and um, yeah because I think I was playing something else beforehand and then I went on to that for like I think it's like two and a half or three hours but like really Okay, Ma Mariana, is that? Please tell me if that's right or not. Um, but yeah, like, it was like a three hour stream, and then I, you know, uploaded it to YouTube and everything, and then the video got blocked worldwide, worldwide, because of like, um, like entrance videos and things like that. Which is on other people's YouTube channels, but I don't see them getting blocked. I know some I have, but. I 
I'll try not to make any jokes and to call you a uh, marinara sauce. Mariana? 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 I don't know. There's so many different ways that that could be pronounced. Mariana. Mariana? 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Mariana. I'll I'll go I'll go with I I'll, I'll imagine it as Ariana as in Grande. And then just have the M at the beginning. So like Mariana. If that's fine. I'm bad with names I I've never seen before. Like usernames and real names. Uh, one time I watched him drink an entire jar of. Oh! I said I wasn't gonna make the joke about calling you marinara sauce, and I forgot about that. It's on the screen right now. <laughs> what a coincidence. Okay, if you bear with me one second, I, I, I need to head to the bathroom. So I shall be back in just a moment.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, I see that you have said that you're going to sleep. Uh, I hope you've had. A, I hope you have a nice rest. I hope you. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, my YouTube name is it's the same same as my same as my Twitch name. Let me let me drop a quick link. Let me drop you a quick linkage. There you are. There is a link for you. And I hope you have a nice rest. Have a nice sleep. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. My mind's kind of... I'm going to subscribe to a channel called Figgy. Oh, I think this is... Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Have a good night, Mariana. Oh, okay, Fig... Yeah. I think what happened was... Yeah, I remember I woke up this morning on my phone and then, like... I, uh, yeah, I, I remember waking up and finding that I was just about to share something on Twitter. I don't remember who John Odd is either. Oh, that's, wait, no, this is the one that I nearly, 
That was the one I know, yeah. Shan is John Ock. Yeah, just uh just um King Grunt's desktop video channels.